welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a collaboration video with James Charles. I'm sure you guys know him. But we both got inspired by a bunny look that we saw on Instagram by Jubu. I'll have her info linked down below and of course links to her pages. So we both really wanted to film this look. So we decided to make it a collaboration video. I'll have James's link down below of course. So we're just going to start off by doing my foundation. And for today, I'm mixing my Anastasia Stick Foundation with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation as well. And I'm just buffing that in with a beauty blender. And then going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and just buffing that in with a beauty blender. Then going in with my Airspun Loose Translucent Powder. This is my holy grail, you guys already know. And I'm just going to bake under my eyes and around the sides of my nose, my smile lines, all those areas. And then I'm going to buff it all into my skin with a MAC Studio Fix powder. This is like my favorite powder ever, you guys. It has incredible coverage. So I'm just using that to basically push in that powder and also provide a little bit of extra coverage into my skin. And then taking my Vanity Planet brush set. This is like my favorite brush set ever, you guys. And I do have a discount code. I'll leave it listed down below. And I'm just using this bronzing brush that comes with it with my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is for my Holy Girl Bronzer. And yeah, I just love this brush set, you guys. Definitely highly recommend it. Yeah, I was talking about this set on Snapchat the other day, in case you guys missed it. But yeah, I'll have my info and like links to it listed down below as always, you guys already know. And then I just applied some blush. This was the Makeup Geek Valentine blush. And then going in with my MAC Studio Fix powder again, and I'm just cleaning up under that bronzer to sharpen it up and make it look a lot cleaner. And then going in with this Artist Couture highlighter. This is one of the Diamond Glow powders, and I'm just highlighting my cheekbones with that. This is a super pretty, like, pinky blush. I wanted my cheeks to be super blushy for today since it is a bunny look. Then I'm priming my eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm just basically applying that into my crease first. I'm not applying this onto my lid since I am going in with more concealer afterwards when I cut my crease. Um, I'm going to sharpen it up with concealer so I don't want to cake on a bunch of concealer on there. So I'm just applying this on my crease area. And then just setting that with a powder and then going with my first shade. This is Makeup Geek's Cupcake Eyeshadow. And I'm using a MAC 217 brush for this. I'm just buffing this right into the crease and sort of mapping out where I want this cut crease to be. Then I'm going in with the Makeup Geek Eyeshadow in the shade Cherry Cola and just deepening up the crease with this shade. And I'm also just dragging that sort of on the sides of my nose to create a contour. And I don't really know why I did this, but it looks a lot more bunny-like and animal-like when I did this. I don't know. I don't really have a purpose, but I just did that anyways. And then I'm just blending that all into my crease, making sure everything's nice and blended and seamless. And I'm just going in with this Vanity Planet brush that came with this set once again. This is like my holy grail brush for cutting my crease, you guys. It's so bomb. If you don't have it, you need it. It's amazing for cutting the crease. And I'm just using that with a concealer and just sharpening up my crease once again. I'm going in with that Lime Crime Super Foil. I don't know the name of this, but I'll have it listed down below as always. So I'm just basically applying that onto my lid. I love this shade. It's like super, super foiled and intense. And it just has a really nice duochrome to it. It's like pinky, but it also has a little bit of a peachiness to it. I'm obsessed with this shade, you guys. But yeah, they also apply really well with your fingers, which is what I'm doing here. I'm just packing it onto my lid with my fingers because they apply it really well that way. And then going in with this Stila eyeliner, and I'm just creating a basic cat eyeliner. Although this time I did make it a little bit longer and a little bit bigger because I wanted this to be very dramatic and more Halloween appropriate. And yeah, I'm just mapping that out and then filling it all in. Then going in with the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and this white shade. And I'm basically just taking this on the outer corner of my eye, basically like the outer half of my eye on my waterline and on my lower lash line. This is basically just going to extend out my eye shape. I'm basically just using that picture that Jubu did as reference and this is what she has. She sort of just had this white on the outer corners and flicked it upward. So then I'm taking an eyeliner and I'm basically just flicking out some little strokes right here basically to make it look like there's little eyelashes under my eyes. This entire technique with like the white and the black little lashes are gonna make your eyes look super big and like animal-like. And then I'm also going to extend my inner corner with a little bit more of that black eyeliner and just create a little mini wing on the inner corner to make my eyes look bigger as well. And then going in with my lashes. These lashes just tie the look together. These are the Lily Lashes in the Style Miami. You guys know I'm obsessed with these lashes. They're like my holy grail. 
And as always, I'll have my code listed down below for you guys to save some money. And then I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Flash Palette once again. And that same white shade, this white shade is basically like my savior for this whole look. And I'm taking that on a beauty blender and basically just bouncing this super messily in my sort of mouth and chin region. It's basically just going to give me that overall white sort of appearance. And then we'll go in right here and take an angled brush with that same Makeup Forever white color and just flick some little hair strokes to basically mimic the fur for this bunny. Um, but yeah, just going in with that beauty blender and that white shade at first is just going to give you that overall white appearance. So you don't have to fill it in with a brush or anything. It's just a lot faster to do it this way. And yeah, then I'm just flicking out these little hair strokes on the other side of the face as well. And then I'm going to start off on the nose. Um, I do this look in a really weird order, like I'm kind of jumping around throughout this entire video. But yeah, I'm just mapping out where I want this sort of rounded nose effect to be. I feel like the nose just ties this whole look together. So I'm just going in with a smaller defined brush and just sort of creating a circle around my nose and sort of filling it in with a little bit of white on my nostrils as well. And then I'm going to take that white again on an angled brush and sort of creating more fur strokes sort of on the nose area. And then I'm going in with this Makeup Forever White Lipstick. This is, I'm not sure of the name of this, but I'll have it listed down below. And I'm just applying that white lipstick on the bottom lip. I'm not applying this on the top lip because we are going to go with a different shade on the top. And then going in with the Lime Crime Super Foil once again. And I'm just applying that onto the nose sort of in this rounded area. And I'm freaking obsessed with the way this looks. I love how it looks like super shiny. Um, I feel like it sort of ties the whole look together. And yeah, now we're going in with the Lime Crime Lipstick in the shade Prairie on the top half of my lips. And I'm sort of rounding out the top half to make it look more like a bunny. And then going in with the white shade from the Makeup Forever palette once again. And I'm basically just creating these sort of hair strokes on my eyebrows. I didn't glue down my eyebrows for this specific look. I did do that in my photo that I posted on Instagram um, a few days ago. But I wanted to tone this look down a little bit more. Um, James told me I should just like do little hair strokes and not glue them down because he's doing more of a dramatic version and I'm doing more of a wearable, achievable version. So basically just flick up these little hairs on the top part of your brows. That way you can still keep your fleeky brows but still have that sort of bunny hair like fur appearance. I don't really know how to describe this but yeah just flick them up at the top part of your brow and then I'm going in with this eyeliner. This is the Stila one once again. And yeah, just create a line down your lips, basically, and then do little dots for, like, the freckles or the little pores. I don't even know. What is this part of a bunny? I have no freaking idea, but just, like, create little dots on your cupid's bow. I don't know what these are called, but yeah. And that's pretty much the last step to this look. Um, I suck at explaining all this stuff, but basically you can learn from watching. I suck at explaining Halloween tutorials. But yeah, this is the completed makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out James's video. I'll have it linked down below. And full credit for the inspiration goes to Jubu. I'll have her Instagram linked down below as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.